the annoyance of the swans, he hunted the waters of the pond. A blown grey rain heralded the onset of winter. Instinct moved Tarka to make a warm couch in a clump of rushes beneath a bramble thicket. During his wanderings in the creeks behind the pond, the scent of another otter attracted him. He heard an otter's whistle and a feeling of joy warmed his being. White Tip was her name, and she was the same age as Tarka. Tarka's emotions were as intense as they were quick. He was in love with White Tip. but a big dog otter also wanted White Tip as his mate. Tarka was so frightened that he ran away back to the safety of Ram's Horn Pond, his ardour dampened. The icicle spirit had arrived. And for two days and nights, the frosty vapor lay over the estuary. No power could exorcise it. 
Out of the blizzard had dropped a herd of wild swans and a strange thick-set bird, an arctic owl. Mile after mile, its soft and silent wings had carried it from the frozen land of the northern lights. days Taka did not venture from his warm couch until hunger forced him to set out in search of food. The ice talons set harder in the land. No twitter of finch or linnet was heard, for those which remained were dead. One night, raving with hunger, Taka was drawn to a nearby farmyard. 